Hi guys, my name is Ryan, the Frugal Analyst. So gas price dropped to historic lows. So is it still cheaper to drive an electric car versus a gas car? So fuel cost is one of the biggest advantage of buying an electric car to offset the initial purchase price. So I built a fuel saving comparison model between an electric car and a gas car. And I'll share it with you guys in this video. The download link will be in the description of the video so you can download the model and calculate your own potential savings if you were to drive an electric car today with today's fuel price. I'll explain how to use it in this video. So just two years ago, I bought my Tesla Model 3 and drove over 25,000 miles and now I understand how to calculate the fuel savings accurately. My initial assumption is a saving of around $10,000 in the first 10 years in comparison to my BMW 328i. So with the historic low gas price, will I still save money? So let me go over the model and feel free to download it in the description of this video. Here we have the five inputs and the savings output. If you change the inputs, the total savings will change as well. Starting with the inputs, for the electric car, it is the combination of the car's energy consumption and the cost of electricity. For the gas car, it's the miles per gallon and the gas price. And then you have the miles driven per year that scales your savings. For the electric car consumption, my Tesla Model 3 got an average of 23 kilowatt hour per 100 mile as shown in my car's dashboard. Now this value depends on many factors and the biggest one is that I live in San Diego where I do not have to use the AC, heater, or deal with extreme temperatures. I'll explain more in the latter part of this video on how to adjust this number. The other method is to get an apples to apples comparison by leveraging the fueleconomy.gov and punching the EPA estimated consumption per 100 miles. You can do this for other electric cars such as the Chevy Bolt that's giving around 28 kilowatt hour per 100 miles. The next item is the cost of electricity. I put in 15 cents per kilowatt hour because when I use the public charger in San Diego, it gives me on the high end right now at 15 cents per kilowatt hour. This value can change depending on where you charge and will fluctuate if you're using a Tesla supercharger at home with your utility company or having solar panels. Electricity price basically fluctuate depending on where you are charging. So put in your own price that you pay. The next item is the gas car miles per gallon and the cost of fuel. My comparison car is the 2007 BMW 328i that's getting around 23 and a half miles per gallon with my driving style and current local gas price of around $3.10 for premium gas. Last but not least, I put down my miles driven per year and that is 13,000 miles. On the right side, on the savings output, with all this information, I get a savings of around $1,200 per year or a 10 year saving of $12,000. Not bad even when the gas price is low in San Diego. Now according to the AAA gas price website, California is quite expensive versus a state like Texas, for example, that has gas price at around $1.50 per gallon. So can you still save money with an electric car in Texas where gas is super cheap? So I'm gonna adjust my inputs to Texas and make it a little bit extreme. For electric car, instead of 23, I'm gonna use the EPA estimated number at around 26 kilowatt hour per 100 mile. For the gas price, I'm gonna use $1.50 per gallon. When I Google the average electric price in Texas, the average is around 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So these inputs turns into a saving of around $400 per year or a 10 year savings at $4,000 total. Not bad even when gas is super cheap today. Gas would have to go under $1 per gallon in Texas to get a break even between an electric car and a gas car. So this really shows that electric energy is much cheaper than gas even in areas where gas price is a lot cheaper. So feel free to change the inputs to cater to your situation and see how much you can save by driving electric. Now for a deeper dive on how I calculate the total cost, 
electric car have a more complicated calculation versus gas engines. In addition to the fuel consumption per mile, Tesla has a battery drain that is around two miles per day in my experience, and there is some charging inefficiency. For a battery drain, I assume an extra 730 miles per year loss just due to the car being on all the time. For the charging inefficiency, this is a common occurrence when we store energy in batteries. Like if you have a power bank like this one for your cell phone, every time you insert energy to the power bank and you use it to charge your phone, there is an energy loss. So for simplicity, for an electric car, I put down a 5% energy loss, and this is common for a 240 volt plug that most electric vehicle owner uses. If you are as frugal as I am, I still use the 120 volt plug at my parents' house that gives me around four miles per hour. This loses 10% of the energy, but it is readily available and do not require any special equipment other than possibly a 12 3 gauge extension cord to the standard outlet. Also as a side note for the electric car energy consumption, depending on how you drive, use AC or change the aerodynamics, you may use more energy per mile. This is similar to gas car, but an electric car is more sensitive to extreme temperatures due to the battery. So you can adjust the estimated energy consumption as you see fit, like if you're driving aggressively, maybe you want to add in 5 to 10% to the estimated energy consumption. Or if you're in freezing temperature, maybe you want to add in plus 10% to 20% to the EPA estimated consumption. So all the calculation is in the Excel sheet if you want to tick and tie the data. And please feel free to download it in the description of this video. So overall, I hope this video and model helps you estimate the fuel saving dollars from driving an electric car. There are other factors that play into the total cost of ownership of driving an electric car, such as state and federal rebates, insurance costs, and charging considerations that I did not mention in this video. But at the end of the day, in terms of fuel savings, driving an electric car is the frugal choice. So thanks for watching. Comment and hit the like button if you find this video and model helpful. I saw a bunch of similar fuel saving models online, but I hope my model is more transparent, accurate, and something you can play around with.